the, the, the man shed movement's been going for a, a lot of years. They've got them in the Isle of Man, they've got them in Blythe, they've got them in Cramlington. Uh, Mortworth doesn't have one. Um, and it's one of those places where, you know, traditionally people retired and found they had lots of time on their hands, um, a lot of skills, and, you know, predominantly men were getting together and making things in their sheds and then realised that they could do it as a group um, and support each other in that and have a bit of camaraderie. I think the ability um, and interest to fix things, to reuse things, to repair things is very useful, I mean, particularly in this day and age when things are um, so expensive and when a lot of people are struggling financially it's often the case that you can reuse something for a very modest outlay. Well, I, I hope to, to learn lots of new skills um, with some of the, the kit that's here, um, meet lots of new people, um, sort of um, also work with some of the, the youths and do some charitable work. Um, so it's a bit of um, learning things for myself and also helping the community generally. This all came about um, between um, Mike Willis, one of our local pastors, and the Greater Morbeth, um Development uh, Company. Uh, got their heads together and decided we needed something in Morpeth to um, encourage people to come and discuss in the traditional man shed way, um, their day to day comings and goings, just a place for people to hang out and I uh, hope we do some cross-generational stuff so it's not just old fellas drinking tea, it can be old ladies as well, it can be young fellas and young ladies, it can be anyone. Um, the Trust's mission is to uh, make Morpeth a better place in which to live, work and visit and when the idea of a man shed was put to us we thought that was a really worthwhile activity. We see it as a space where anybody and everybody can come together, can do stuff, um, hopefully obviously more practical stuff, somewhere where youngsters can grow in confidence and acquire some skills from the uh, older users, and somewhere where the older users can benefit from interacting with youngsters um, and can be good for the emotional health of old people who sometimes get a bit isolated, and particularly men, because we aren't very good at talking about our feelings generally. Well, I just hope it goes from this initial start to, to a, a much bigger thing and, and becomes really successful because it, it's something Morpeth really needs. We do hope that in the coming months and years this will become a vibrant and busy place where lots of people will feel free to be able to pop in and out, learn new skills, um, share new skills and help each other along with life's journey. We are here, we are open for business um, and we're open to all ages. Um, if anybody has an interest, has anything that needs repaired, bicycles, we've got a handful of donated bicycles um, that were doing tutoring or with uh, young people on bicycle maintenance. Um, but hopefully we can help people service their bikes um, if you've got any bits and pieces of household equipment that you might think like well all mowers and things like that that might need a, a service or a check over I know there are other companies that do that but you know pop in see us see what we can do if I don't know I might know someone who does <laughs>